Welcome to the lower house of the Victorian Parliament, at least a version of it as designed by Grade 5 6 students. This building, and others like it, were the result of our first Minecraft unit back in 2011. Students were tasked with creating a replica of the Victorian Parliamentary buildings. To do so, they needed to research the requirements of such a building. Students began in a world that was not created in any way for the purpose. As such, they needed to clear the land and block out a plan. At the same time, they worked in groups planning and costing their building. Prices were set on materials and tools. Money could be earned through real-world research into the parliament and government. At first, progress in the game was slow. But the students had never used a game environment to complete work before, so the sense of excitement and enthusiasm was high. By this stage, the student groups were working pretty much autonomously on the build, and on their research. As teachers, we were acting as facilitators of learning. It's fair to say we were pretty much as excited as the students. The builds continued throughout the term. Each week we would declare a Minecraft session, and students would pick up from where they left off. Throughout the process, we emphasised the need for students to articulate their reasoning behind the build. This culminated in a guided tour once the building was complete. Welcome to our Parliament House. Do you want to hear our history? Long ago, this land was the land of a fearless dragon, and a purple one at that. It was the last of its kind, the moon dragons. Clearly, the guided tours were a little more interesting than they might have been in the real world. Throughout the unit of work, the students were able to demonstrate their understanding of our parliamentary system in a way that was undeniably engaging and fun. Along with the primary focus on government came all the additional skills associated with group work, planning and problem solving. What we had discovered is that through Minecraft we were able to create units of work that brought students together in the real world in order to complete a task that took place in a virtual world. It's fair to say, from that point on, we were hooked on Minecraft as a teaching tool. So join me next time when I take a look at our sustainability Minecraft unit. Bye!